In a city that's lost more than a million jobs in the last few years, it made sense that this was the place the IAM staff met this year to talk about the future and what's in store for the machinists. You all here in the room are the ones that are on the front lines, and you have seen firsthand how this economy has affected workers all across North America and beyond. American workers, you know this better than anybody, are the best in the world. That's why leaving us, millions of us, idle, rather than putting our great skills and experience to work, makes absolutely no sense. It's bad for our collective morale, it's bad for our fiscal health, and it's bad for our economy. The IAM men and women here in Houston want to make sure this union continues to prosper for the next generation. But that's not an easy task in such a rough economy. It's almost 17 percent of working age Americans. One out of every six of us, 26 million of us, is either unemployed or underemployed. These 26 million Americans include a lot of people that we know and love. Long before official Washington had a name for the problems that working people are going through, the machinists were out in front with your Jobs Now campaign, defining the problem and demanding attention to the job struggles of working men and women. The machinists are dedicated to doing whatever it takes, thinking outside of the box with things like u -cubed and reaching out to a younger generation of workers. We have seen so many times that when great change needs to come, it's young people who lead the way. Showing the next generation that the labor movement cares about the same things they do, like job security, social justice, and a way to reach the American dream. We found that only 31 percent of 18 to 35 year olds actually make enough money to cover their bills and put just a little bit aside. Almost a third are uninsured, and one in three, one in three, still lives at home with their parents. The machinists here have no choice but to succeed. It means that much to them, their families, and the workers coming after them. We may need to do some things differently as we go forward, but the values that make us who we are, that make our movement what it is, will remain timeless. And hopefully, next time the staff meets, it will be to discuss a whole new set of machinist concerns. How do we charter more locals? How do we make more districts? How do we add to the staff of this union? How do we handle the problem of growth? For the Machinist News Network, I'm Deirdre Kanievsky.